Uh, so I'm here with David Schock, and we're going to talk a bit about your latest company in which you're involved in the, um, the senior management. And it sounds like a very interesting company as a kind of cutting edge technology. So the company's name is Drylet, and it works in uh, biology. So, so tell us a bit more about it. Sure. So we're, we're essentially working somewhere at the intersection of microbiology and material science, where those two, where those two meet and overlap a bit. Um, we have an engineered particle that we preload very specific targeted microbes onto that particle, and then we introduce that particle into a number of, let's say, challenging environmental areas um, where they're able to go in and we deliver the microbes for industrial applications. So basically put simply, you develop these germs and they eat garbage and other things. Anything you can organic. Like program the germs. Well, anything organic. We, we put them into a food source where it's organic. That could be wastewater, it could be concentrated animal farms, it could be oil spills on land, it could be biogas. Uh, digesters anywhere where there's organic material that's available, and you want to you want to increase the level of degradation versus what they would get normally. Then we introduce those the right microbes on our particle in, in a very safe environment. We put them in. So you design the microbes to eat that thing. We don't design the microbes. We just we target we find the right microbes and put them on our particle, and it's our particle that helps the microbes basically work faster and more efficiently. Okay, so you could put the microbes on my mother-in-law, and they would eat her. If we found the right microbes, if they had mother-in-law eating microbes, then yes. Okay, I'll bear that in mind. Then. Okay, and so tell me a bit about working as a senior manager for a private equity-backed company. How is that different from working for another kind of corporation? What are the, the other challenges, the advantages, the disadvantages? You know, it's, it's a different game, and it's not for everybody. I've worked in, in for, for FTSE 100 companies and, I, and in a corporate environment, and I've done the early stage thing as well a couple of times. And it's a different type of environment. So the expectations are different, the hours are different, the level of support is different. You've got to be able to do a lot of your own heavy lifting, uh, long hours, lots of travel. It's it's you know it's not always comfortable, um, but the the upside is huge. It's exciting. You get to work with really interesting people. Um, so there, there's a lot of trade offs. But you know, and the, what's the style of the product owners? Are they do they put you under more pressure? Are they helpful? How, how would you describe the the, the way they manage the investment of which you're the manager, say. I hope you're enjoying this uh, module. If you are, I'd really appreciate if you could consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks very much. Yeah, you know, with in, in a large corporation, it's a machine and everybody has their role and the, and the gears turn. Um, in, in private equity, they're targeting, you know, high-performing people that, are, that can really be pushed to the edge. And at the end of the day, you have a finite amount of resource and you have to figure it out. And, and, your, and your investors, they're, you know, they're, they're putting their money in, they're putting their time, their energy, their relationships, um, all kinds of assets go into the business, both tangible and intangible. Um, and the expectation is you're going to figure it out and get out there and deliver. So it's like they're more intense about things than another kind of owner. More intense, the you know the expectation. And more helpful, higher. perhaps. Uh, for sure, more helpful. You know, you talk about. I've worked for publicly traded companies where you just have pension funds and shareholders, and you know they expect a dividend, and that's about it. And w when you're working with private equity uh, back companies, they want you know they want growth, they want market penetration, um, they want to see you move, and and you have a limited amount of resource to achieve that. So it's your job as you know as as a manager in that company, and essentially as an entrepreneur to figure it out. Well, that sounds very challenging, but I'm sure the upsides could be really good. So thank you, David. It's been very interesting. And uh, we'll look forward to the next topic for our next discussion. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Thank you.